Hey there guys, it's Alex from Tata Game Today I'm bringing you guys a new little tutorial real quickly And this is going to be how to download mods in Minecraft So first you want to go to uh, Minecraft Forge Which is going to be uh, what pretty much you need to download any mod You're going to click on this right here And you could get Minecraft Forge anywhere from versions 1.11 to 1.1 uh, So it just depends on what version of Minecraft your mod works with For me, I'm using Tropicraft in this So I'm using version 1.7.10 which is going to be on the 1.7 tab uh, after you click on that you have the download latest version then download the recommended version I always download the latest version because it it always seems to work out just fine so you're gonna click on that and you're gonna have to wait a little bit because this is where an ad would pop up but in the top right hand corner the moment the skip option comes up just click on that and then look right down there you can see that forge popped up click on that I'm not going to install the entire thing right now but I'm going to show you guys real quickly right here you're going to click on the top option right there and you can change the file destination but I never mess with that but after that just click OK and the thing basically works itself from that point forward so I'm going to exit out of there because I already have that but now we're going to go over to Tropicraft uh, this is because that's what I'm using for this showcase but you can get any mod that you want just insert right here uh, this is the steps uh, here's tropicraft.net so you're going to go to download tropicraft 1.7.10 and right here you can see I could download it right here and there would be advertisements here but I have my ad blocker on so I'm preparing download and download tropicraft uh, click on that I'm going to cancel this because I already have it but whenever that downloads done drag that to the desktop but now X style Chrome and you should have this file right here and after this we're going to go right here to our search tab and we're going to search percent app data percent and we're going to click on the file destination right here and we're going to click on dot minecraft and here we want to go to the mods folder and we're going to want to open up our WinRAR file and right here we want to click on the mods and um, you see these two icons right here, you want to uh, just highlight both those and drag those to the file. I already have them there obviously, so I'm not going to do that, but after that, back up on both of them and get the schematics file and just drag it anywhere into your dot .minecraft. I already have it as you can see, but you can see right there. Uh, but after that, you are done installing your mod. You want to go to your Minecraft launcher real quickly. And not everybody knows how to choose the versions on their Minecraft, but here's an example right here. I have Forge. Click on uh, Edit Profile. And on this tab right here, you want to go to the very bottom because you can see other versions here, but uh, Forge is always at the very bottom of the list. You're going to click on whatever version you're going to be using. In this case, it's going to be 1.7.10. Then click on that, click Save Profile, and as you can see right there, it's saved. And we're going to click on Play. So whenever you're launching Minecraft, you'll be able to immediately see if your Forge installed correctly because a couple extra steps will be present whenever you're launching Minecraft itself. As you can see, there's a couple other things. There's a couple mods that come pre-installed on the Forge, but don't worry, they all don't do anything except make the game run a little bit smoother and a little bit better. But besides that, right here, as you can see, you'll have the nine mods in your corner. Click on the Mods tab and go to the very bottom, and right there, as you can see, Troublecraft was installed successfully and now all we got to do is go to click done click single player just to see if it works I already have a world set up for this uh, it's going to load train and bam as you can see I have the world already set up and I have the tropical cocktail and I just have pretty much everything that would be in uh, Minecraft uh, Tropicraft I have all the different items but uh, so yeah see it worked everything and this works for any mod on any version of Minecraft thus far I hope you guys enjoyed this video please do like it I know everybody says that but it does really help me get my video out there but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time bye